Hey guys, so I'm back to another quick form video. So today we're doing the unboxing of the new LG Tribute Empire. Um, so as you can see, this is a new phone that came out for Boost Mobile. I meant to do an unboxing about three days ago, but due to uh, me being uh, sick and having a fever, I couldn't do it. But today I feel a little bit, uh, you know, healthier. So yeah, let's get into it, guys, and hopefully everything turns out good. So this is yes, one of the newer phones that I actually leaked on my channel, showing you that um, you know. This phone was coming to Boost Mobile thanks to one of my subscribers. Now put him, I'll ping him in the comments. So check that out. But yes, guys, this is it. I finally picked it up, and I actually have the official price for this on Boost Mobile. It will cost one hundred dollars regular price, but right now I picked this up at Walmart for sixty nine ninety nine, so seventy dollars, guys. Yes, seventy dollars for this phone. So let's see what we get. And of course, for seventy dollars, you know it's going to be a budget phone, but. Let's get into the unboxing and a quick boot up and see how we go. So, as you can see, here's Boost Mobile Unlimited Data Talk and Text LG Tribute Empire. Very, very cool. So, this is rocking a 5 inch HD touchscreen display, 16 gigabytes of ROM, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 8 megapixel main camera with a 5 megapixel front facing camera. Uh, also has a 1.5 gigahertz octa core processor. So basically a lot of people are going to compare this to the Dynasty, the LG uh, Tribute Dynasty that came out. So there's slightly different, I think, uh, design, you know, changes. But as the specs go, it's basically the same thing. So let's see if it's even worth getting it. But once we turn the phone around, we can see there's more specs here in the back. So this is the back of it. So same thing, LG Tribute Empire, 5-inch five five inch HD touchscreen display. 2500 milliamp battery so that's that's pretty good that it does have a good battery i wouldn't say the best battery but you know it, it is it, they could have put a 2000 and we would have been mad but at 2500 is all okay a megapixel main camera with a 5 megapixel like i said front camera 16 gigabytes of rom so what that means is you're going to get 16 gigs of internal storage and 2 gigabytes of ram which 2 gigs is i would say the minimum that we should be able to get at least for a phone to operate decently. Like I said, this is going to be definitely a budget and friendly phone. Um, 16 gigs, we'll see exactly how much we get because, of course, you guys know we're not going to get the full 16 Android OS. I want to see what operating system it will have. It has 4, 4 GLT slash, uh, or with tw 2 times 20 CA carrier aggregation and HPUE slash Volti. Um, so Volti, I don't know if you guys know, but that will let you talk on the phone and surf the web at the same time. Something that Boost Mobile can do currently, but they are, uh, you know, coming out with it pretty, pretty soon. And then we'll show you how to activate right here on the right side. So pick a plan, activate payment. So very, very cool. Nothing on top, on the side. Um, this one just says no contract. I don't know if it'll zoom it or it'll get my <laughs> granted. There we go. So let's go ahead and open this and everybody knows it's a pain to open this thing. I mean, look at this, they crazy glue it. It's like Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Glue mixed with like Crazy Glue or something. It's just, oh, maybe that's the way. I think I just found out how to open this thing. That's probably the first time I've ever been able to open it with no problem. So let's open up, and as you can see, whoa, I'm already ripping the whole box. Jeez, Christ. So yeah, I gotta be more careful. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Pretty, pretty cool. So I'm going to set this box aside for right now. But check this out, guys. Nice, great box, of course, like any LG. And that's what I like about Boost is their box or their packaging is pretty cool. Like the Motorola's are usually like different colors. The Samsung's and now all the LG's are usually in this gray and black box. So as you can see, nice uh, bold letters, Tribute Empire. Um, same thing, 1.5 gigahertz optical processor, 5-inch uh, HD in cell display. Whoa. <laughs> Two gigabytes RAM, 16 gigabytes ROM. Same thing I already spoke about, but let's look at the box real quick before we open it. Nice LG logo on the bottom. Same thing, their uh, logo right here LG Tribute Empire. Uh, some barcode stuff. Same thing. God, it really likes my little background right here. <laughs> but let's look in the back before we finish opening it. So in this box, of course, we'll see what's in it. But uh, 1.5 gigahertz octa core processors, 8 cores, a 5 inch HD display, 2, gig 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of ROM, and of course the camera. So I'm not going to bore you anymore with this. Let's actually get into it and see what we have. So this time I didn't forget, guys. I was going to bring a knife, but I brought some scissors. So hopefully this does okay. So 
all right so there we go now that it's that's open let's go ahead and actually open it now wow look at that hey got a little air bubble so i guess somebody didn't do their job correctly but let's get into it let's see in here minimal of course it is going to be a micro it's not going to be a type c at all hopefully you there you go as you can see it is a micro guy so very very nice so we got that of course we got the charging brick as well or wall adapter like they call it um it's not a fast charger at all so i mean don't think you know you're gonna get anything like that travel adapter here's the phone itself so let's go ahead and pop it open and wow this is pretty so it definitely first first reactions of just feeling it feels cheap honestly feels plasticky but like i said this phone i mean i picked that up for 70 dollars um so i mean just picking it up it's super light of course the battery's not in it yet but i mean definitely you can just feel the quality it's i don't know if you can hear that but here let me show you next to the mic yeah so hopefully you pick that up through the mic but here hear this I mean that's I mean that's that's plastic I mean yeah but like I said it's it's not bad at all but uh yeah it just it feels cheap honestly in your hand so of course you get manual but nobody really cares about that you know and then of course nothing else in the inside the box here's your battery right here so let's pop it open so as you can see here's the battery guys let me let this focus in so it is a 2500 milliamp battery so it's pretty pretty cool here's more information on it if you really want to know the model and everything there it is just in case you want to buy maybe one from ebay or something but let's go ahead and look at the phone itself real quick so you do have your front facing um camera right there in the front let this focus like i said i have a lot of stuff going out on the background let me remove all this stuff that way it just focuses on the phone itself so there we go as you can see your front uh facing uh, five megapixel camera your earpiece proximity sensor nothing on the bottom so pretty pretty cool you do have your volume up, volume down on the left side. And of course, you won't have a power button on the side because the power button is on the back. So there you go. Reminds me of like a K8 or K30 kind of. Uh, like I said, you know, LG usually has all their designs about the same. So um, flash. And then, of course, you have your 8 megapixel rear facing camera. And then on the bottom, you have your um, rear firing speaker and then the LG logo. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Um, now the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is on the bottom right here, as you can see, and then you do have your charging port. So let's go ahead and put the battery in and do the first boot up. And of course, uh, I do get this question quite a bit, but yes, you could, you can put a SD card in there. It goes on the top right there, right above the SIM card. So now that the battery is inside the phone, guys, it still feels like I said, cheap. But it is a little heavier, just feels more like a real phone now. Um, so I don't know why LG always does this. It says erasing for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, let's let it just boot up and I'll get to the main screen and we'll take a look at that. All right. So as you can see, it's finally done. It took about a minute, minute and a half, but now it's powering back up. Like I said, I don't know why it always does the erasing. You know, all LGs for some reason do that. That's the only phone that I know that does that, like I said. Or manufacturer should i say <clears throat> so sorry if my voice is going in and out guys like i said i'm still recovering from a cold so just bear with me so very very nice look at that so overall while that's doing that i do like the white back um it's it's amazing it does pop out and then i do like this kind of like silver uh you know trim around it very nice but definitely i mean the the star of the show is going to be that white back all right guys so as you can see now it's done so finally it just took a minute but here we go so close and as you can see here's the phone let me see if i can make it a little bit brighter for you guys so you can see it a little bit better so there we go sorry for all the background lighting it's just it's you know it's pretty dark in this room so i need all the good lighting let me dim it down just a little bit maybe you can see it better there we go okay so here we go guys here's the phone uh, like i said it just finished doing all the setup and everything so very very nice looks like standard lg uh just you know <laughs> launcher so very very decent so once we scroll this down to get to the notification you can see it does have capture plus wi-fi uh sound bluetooth uh 
Wi-Fi calling, rotation, flashlight. Let's see how bright it is. Uh, I would say it's it's okay. It's decent. Airplane mode, sync, data, battery saver mode, location, uh, comfort view. Just helps you, you know, when you're reading, so it doesn't, you know, hurt you, hurt your eyes. Data saver. That's pretty cool. Do not disturb. But overall, as you can see, you get the standard stuff. You know, let's go into the settings. So airplane mode. Uh, voice networks, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile network, mobile data, should I say, call, tethering, share panel, LG Air Drive, printing, mobile networks, VPNs, sounds. Here we go to the sounds. It's like, I always tell you guys, the number one thing about LG that I like is you can do ringtone ID, so custom IDs for whoever's calling, uh, ring with vibration, flash alerts for incoming calls. That's pretty cool. Usually you have to go through accessibility, so I do like that. This phone does have all this pretty cool. LG is known for their customization. Here's the display home screen, wallpaper themes, font, home touch buttons, the display, uh, comfort view, all that goody goody. And then let's go to the last part. Lock screen, You, of course you can. I'm pretty sure you can do the, yep, yep, the knock knock. Of course this wouldn't be an LG if it didn't have knock knock. Um, pretty, pretty cool. Um, but battery storage let's see how much storage we actually get with the phone so look at that wow 7.39 gigabytes in use wow so we actually only get 8.61 gigabytes free out of the box guys so already almost half or 46 percent i think i said it was used already so that's pretty crazy and that's not even downloading any boost mobile stuff just yet accounts um smart cleaning gaming that's pretty cool knock knock on you can disable it or or enable it um, software updates all that stuff but let's look into the phones um, software let's see what software it's running 8.1.0 so not bad at all guys not bad at all so pretty pretty cool guys so let's just check out the camera real quick um, so the camera looks okay I mean like I said the colors are, are there they're not that bad so but I'll do a full review. You guys know I'll, I'm going to do a camera review and everything. So let's see the front. Uh, it looks a little washed out. The hair look, definitely looks good. But the skin looks a little washed out. But overall, it, it's pretty cool. Wow. It also has portrait mode. So that's that's a plus. Wow. With portrait mode, it definitely, it definitely looks a lot, lot better. So wow. Shout out to portrait mode. So overall, it's very good. But you guys know I'm going to review this phone. Do a gaming review, uh, camera review. You guys are in the correct spot, guys. So, yeah, please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know if this is worth $70. Like I said, we'll know that when I do the full review of this phone. This is just quick unboxing and overview of it. And first boot up. So, pretty, pretty cool. I'm excited for it. Let me know if you guys are. But please comment, rate, subscribe. Like I said, share it and all that stuff. Uh, hit that bell notification so you guys will be known and notified when i will upload more videos and more phones and more reviews so yeah uh just quick shout out to netbuddy.co they are my number one supporter guys um they do offer true unlimited at&t hotspot never capped or throttled like i said no cap so you can use all the data you want uh it's good for streaming video watching gaming anything like that for only 60 dollars a month but if you use my link and promo code at checkout you will save five dollars that promo code is sanchez45973 thank you guys and stay tuned for a lot lot more i'm excited